Hi friends, welcome back to Inspo English. See friends, um, in the concluding uh, discussion on active and passive voice, I said uh, we have something more uh, to share with you and that is the exceptions. Okay, there are uh, certain cases uh, which are quite different from the ordinary pattern where you have to be very careful when you change such sentences from active voice to uh, passive voice. Okay, there are some uh, six uh, such instances where you have to be very careful. Let's go to the exceptions. Okay, voice active and passive. The first one is this, imperatives. Imperatives, you know, commands, requests, and entreaties. Imperatives introduced with the let. When you get a sentence in imperative mode, okay, when you want to change it from active to passive, you have to introduce the passive voice with the let. Example, write a story. Let a story be written. Okay. Second uh, case is regarding questions. Word order is inverted. Regarding questions, uh, the only change that comes is uh, the change of word order. Let's see an example. Okay. Does he write a story? Is a story written by him? Actually, uh, if it is not a question, the sentence is he writes a story. That's why when we change it uh, into passive, uh, the structure is, is a story written by him. Now, the third case, uh, in some cases, the by agent is replaced by other prepositions. Usually, um, the by agent is there. Okay, uh, I am loved by him, okay, by her, such agents are there. But here, uh, such agents are not uh, used. Instead of that, we use some other prepositions. Okay, there are some three cases that you have to not. The first one is, see, sorrow overcame him. He was overcome by sorrow. You may have a tendency to say like that, but it's a mistake. It should be, he was overcome with sorrow. He was overcome with sorrow. Another example, his appearance surprised me. I was surprised at his appearance is the correct one. Don't use by his appearance. Okay, surprised at. At is the preposition that goes with surprise. That is the uh, fact. Okay, then he knows the teacher personally. The teacher is personally known to him. Okay, after known, we can say known by him or uh, known at or known with. It should be known to him. Okay. Now, coming to the fourth case, in case of two objects, both can be used to frame the passive. Uh, there are certain sentences where we have uh, two objects. You know, what are these two objects? Direct object and indirect object. Okay, uh, let's take an example. My uncle gave me a fountain pen. Here, uh, my uncle gave me a fountain pen. The direct object is, my uncle gave what? A fountain pen. So you can start the passive with uh, a fountain pen. Was given to me by my uncle. The other object that is indirect object is me. And you can uh, take it to the subject position and start the sentence like this. I was given a fountain pen by my uncle. See, my uncle gave me a fountain pen. A fountain pen was given to me by my uncle. I was given a fountain pen by my uncle. I haven't completed the last part. You can very well uh, fill it yourself. No problem. Okay, and next one. Uh, some constructions are found only in passive voice. See a sentence like this. My churidar is torn by... Somebody, no, that usually don't uh, happen, no, doesn't happen. So, uh, 
my churidar is torn in itself it's clear so you don't have to uh, use the passive structure in such cases another one i am tired i am tired by something that is understood okay you don't have to mention it i am tired because of some reason okay that's clear then sixth and the last case is if the subject is implied in the context it may be omitted if the subject is implied in the context it may be omitted uh, see i have selected a sentence a typical one uh, this sentence um, uh, was there for the examination uh, when uh, i was a teacher i mean during my teaching period always frequently uh, asked people all over the world speak english english is spoken all over the world by people that's not needed by agent is not needed uh, i think only people can speak english uh, whether um, animals or some other living beings can speak english i don't know <laughs> anyway uh, english is spoken all over the world by people is not needed to be uh, written okay so these are the six uh, exceptions uh, cases where you have to take uh, extra care when you change them into uh, passive i hope this video will be very useful to you as a continuation of our discussion on active voice and passive voice okay um, thank you for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed i'll be back with another video very soon till then goodbye and thank you Thank you.